now basically pull this back and extrude it one more time. rounded edge and do the same thing on the back and that's the back Basically, this is uh, it's going to be pretty chunky, but it should look pretty good once we're done. The other thing is to kind of screw it up a bit here, but uh, create a bit of bulk on the bottom. select the right vertices and that oh. so I'm actually going to redo these rounded bits because I kind of jumped the gun delete the vertices vertexes, what have you. Let's just make the shape a bit simpler. I'm going to erase those. do this. It's all about sort of making the shape or the the model as simple as possible. A lot of people have a tendency to sort of complicate things. But more with less is the key. If that makes any sense, I suppose it does. I'll deal with the scaling after, but anyway, like I was doing before, actually I'll do both at the same time, extrude, do that, so identical, and scale in the Z direction. Roughly about a 45 degree angle. Make, er, make faces out of them. It's not the right vertexes again. And that's looking kind of tanky. Uh, I think I'm going to make it a bit narrower though. Select this and sort of just bring it in. Actually, what we'll have to do probably is scale.
scale the whole thing. bigger than it is. The other thing is to make these a bit wider. So basically, the tank sort of has these long treads and a little turret in the back. I'll have to fix the side here. I'll just delete it and I'll just duplicate it and put it over on the other side after. Uh, I guess we can do the turret now. The easiest way to do this is to take the face where the turret's going to go, delete the vert, oop, that's not right, delete the face, then our good friend extrude again, and scale it, bring it to the middle, and we'll extrude one more time. make this sort of like a longer turret than the last tank that I did it. And there, and then we'll make a face, and there's our tank, pretty much. I mean, you can sort of tweak the treads a bit, if you'd like. Maybe bring this out a bit. You can sort of, well, change the scale. Step is select them all, select all the vertices, and we convert. Or that was wrong. Convert all the faces to triangles, and that will automatically do that. And if you just want to, I'll temporarily duplicate. side here, scale minus one, causes, or sorry, scale in the y direction minus one, and bring it over, just kind of fit it in, and that's what our tank looks like. Might require a bit more tweaking once we get the textures done, but I'm pretty happy with that so far. Um, in the next video, I will go over the creating the UV map and then texturing the tank. So when you're done, uh, or there should be a link below linking to that or somewhere else in the stream.